Well, as the weather warms up, we are talking about bugs. We have been warning you about the ticks. They usually come out in waves, but because we had such a late spring, we're seeing them all at once this year. The CDC says more people are getting sick from tick bites too. Oh, that's creepy crawly viz right there. This morning we're looking into a so-called trick to get rid of ticks. We wanted to verify whether tea tree oil could be used as a repellent. Hmm. To get answers, our Verify researchers at our sister station in Virginia consulted some bug experts, an entomologist, an entomology professor, a mosquito control biologist, and an expert at the health department. We're thorough. None of them had heard of using tea tree oil against ticks. It's also not recognized by the EPA as an effective repellent. Tea tree oil might sound attractive since it is 100% natural, but the experts had some other, even more natural options that are proven that are actually proven to work against ticks by the EPA. That includes the oil of lemon eucalyptus, which is derived from the eucalyptus tree. And picaridine, I don't know how to say it, picaridin, that's synthetically made to resemble oil in black pepper. But DEET, we've all heard of DEET, we can pronounce that, which is non-toxic. It's pretty much the gold standard. The American Academy of Pediatrics says that it's fine for children two months of age and older. So this is, this is something that, that's safe to use. Um, it, it does uh, smell strong. That's one of the reasons why it's effective and, and why it does the job um, as, as well as it does. But it's kind of the gold standard. It's the standard that all other repellents get compared to. So we can verify that tea tree oil is not a recommended tick repellent. Just go with the DEET. Cross that off the list. If there's something you'd like us to verify, just send an email to verify at care11.com. DEET, non-toxic. Yeah, I didn't know about that. Yeah. I was always told once you get that stuff on you, like once you're done for the day, shower and get that stuff off because I know it doesn't taste that good. And so. a lot of people worry about putting it on their kids too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've, I've never eaten it, no, yet, well, so I'm not sure about that. I didn't try to eat it. It's just, you know, when you know you wipe your brow yeah. or something. Yeah. And it mm, kind of gets in your, it yeah, kind of pretty gross. Yeah, it's a little bitter. Sweaty brow, got to watch yeah. out for that. <laughs>